Have any of your friends tried to freak you out by telling you that spiders can crawl into your ears and mouth while you sleep? Well, their jokes are no longer funny. A doctor has found a venomous brown spider inside a woman's ear after she thought that it was just water. I'm going to give you a quick second to let that soak in. What's going on YouTube? I'm your host Joss. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We find the biggest stories on the internet and then we make them more fun. Although finding a spider in your ear is never fun. Make sure you follow the IO team on social media. Our links are down below. And while you're here, you might as well subscribe, right? Maybe hit that notification bell too. Maybe. A woman named Susie Torres was having discomfort in her left ear. She said when she woke up one morning, she could hear some popping and swooshing sounds. She thought it could just be some water or maybe a side effect caused by an allergy shot that she had gotten. Once it didn't go away, she went to the doctors who ended up telling her that she had an insect in there. She told CNN, I quote, seeing the instruments they were going to put in my ear started to make me panic. The instruments made you panic? Not the fact that you had an insect in your ear? Doctors from Kansas City extracted a dime sized venomous brown spider from her ear. The doctors told her that it was dead, but she said she thinks they told her that so that she wouldn't freak out. Luckily, doctors told her that the spider had not not bitten her. Bites from this kind of spider are no joke. They can cause muscle pain, nausea, difficulty in breathing, and other uncomfortable spiders. If they bite, they inject venom, which can kill blood cells and in some severe cases can cause limb loss. They aren't known for being aggressive, but like most insects, they will bite if they feel trapped or unintentionally touched. So she got extremely lucky, to say the least. Unfortunately, spiders crawling into people's ears is not uncommon. Various reports have been made with similar stories. After the story surfaced, doctors released some ways to remove an insect from the ear. So, here's what you need to know in case this nightmare happens to you. Thank me later. You want to drip in some warm oil into your ear. It can be baby oil, olive oil, or mineral oil. You basically want to try and float it out. Or you can try to remove it with tweezers if the insect is visible. Or you could do what I would do and just chop off your entire ear. Since then, Susie said that she has started sleeping with cotton balls in her ears and she refuses to sleep unless her ears are plugged somehow. I'm going to start doing that too because I am not taking that risk. No spider is crawling into my ear and setting up camp. No vacancy. Sorry, Mr. Spider. Well, let me know what you guys think. Share your feelings down in the comments and hit that thumbs up button if you hate spiders. For now, let's move on to something less gross and check out some comments from my other IO video. Peppa Pig makeup tutorial will give you nightmares. Shellbug says, I love Jody's body painting. She's amazing like IO. Aww. She's actually really talented. Cha Cross says, Wow, Jocelyn, you look like Wonder Woman's younger sister in her flashback self. You should come to Hollywood and audition. Seriously, you are a vision. What? Well, thank you. Although, I wish I looked like Wonder Woman and not her younger sister. Hello There says, My bro loves Peppa Pig, so I'll be sure to never show this to him. You are a good brother. That is probably for the best. Alpha Q says, Nearly gave me a heart attack when she opened her eyes. <laughs> right? I was more scared when she opened her mouth and her white teeth were just like BAM in your face. Well, we are at the end here. That's all I got. I'm going to buy some cotton balls to wear in my ears every night. Like and subscribe before you go. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you in a future IO video.